Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to make GNOME Shell more user friendly. So the first thing we need to do is we need to bring back the system tray and we need to put it right here. Now I'm running an older version of GNOME Shell for this video for the sake of recording, but GNOME Shell, especially in the latest update, has taken away the system tray and this is really annoying. Uh, people hate going over here to click on this little button and in the, early, in the later versions, it just doesn't show up. You don't see your icons at all. So to solve this, you need to go to the extension site right here and type in top icons. And when you've done that, you just click on top icons and then select uh, your shell version if you want and you could download it or you could just click the button here, click on and then click install. From there, we can see that our clipboard manager is now in the upper right hand corner and we don't have this down here anymore it's completely gone so that is one improvement the second improvement we're going to add is we're going to make switching windows a lot easier so if you look here uh, anytime you want to switch through a window you can click activities and select the little bar here like if we open up Nautilus here I can switch between windows with activities and I can also switch between windows by clicking the favorites bar but it's really inefficient especially if you're trying to do something and what uh, what uh, dash to dock does the application we will be installing makes it so that the dock in the activities window is something that is always visible so to find dash to dock just do dash to dock and uh, just like last time click the on button then click install and from there it should show up right away in the sidebar And as we can see, the dock is now not part of the dash itself, it's just on its own, and we can access our applications. And if we go into the tweak tool, which I do not have installed, but once you open the tweak tool in, in GNOME, you will be able to decide how big you want this dock, how long you think it should be, what part of the screen it should be on. So maybe you don't like the sidebar here, uh, dock. You can open up the tweak tool here, click on it, uh, go to extensions, and then click settings. And from here, you can select bottom. If you'd like the bottom dock, maybe you want it to look more like Mac. You can set it up to do the top for whatever reason. You can set it to the right or the bottom. You can also change the size of the dock if you'd like it to be a little smaller. And uh, that's just, that's the settings for dash to dock. That's, that's another way we can make GNOME a little bit more user friendly. And because we have this here, we can now access our files or our Epiphany browser much, much faster and it's less of a pain. And uh, it's very, very useful, I think and it just shows up just like regular any other dock. So another one of the real pains that come with using GNOME Shell is the minimize buttons. Now I'm running this on elementary OS because I need elementary OS for a certain thing and there are no minimize buttons and this makes using uh, just using your computer very very difficult if, it's, if you're not used to how things work and if you're not used to uh, just the GNOME way of doing things. Well, if you open up the tweak tool, you go to Windows, you can just select these buttons here and the minimize, maximize buttons will show up again. And that will make things a heck of a lot easier for minimize, maximizing. So the next thing we're gonna be doing to make it more usable is we're gonna be adding the places menu to the panel. And now this will make it so that you don't have to always click on this here to go to your sidebar to decide where you're supposed to be. Instead, what you can do is you can open up the tweak tool and uh, you don't need to worry about installing any more extensions because it should come pre-installed. Now, I don't actually see it here and that's because, again, I'm using a version of Linux that doesn't normally come with regular GNOME. But that being said, if we open up the browser here, we can go to the extensions and we can go to the places store we can get the places from the store and it will turn it on and you'll be able to use the places status indicator. For most people, it should already be installed. It should already be on your system, but just in case it's right there. And once you got it, you can see 
everything is easier to access now. We can click on home, we can click on pictures or music or documents, and you don't have to click here and deal with all of that slow button pressing. And it just makes productivity a lot faster. So the last couple of things that we're gonna be dealing with has to do with performance for GNOME. And now this will be, there is an extension for speeding up GNOME and an extension for just speeding up the performance of GNOME on its own uh, without an extension. So we're gonna deal with the one without the extension first. So if you are like me and your GNOME session is quite slow, you may need to turn off the animations. And to do that, you just open up the tweak tool. And uh, what you do is you click on enable animations and disable it. And now from now, you can see that GNOME is, is just opening at an instant. There are no, ex there are no uh, crazy animations. Everything's a lot quicker and faster. And if you like animations, it isn't for you. this shouldn't be for you. But if you have a slow computer, but you really like how GNOME works, uh, this is always a good option. So the last thing that we're gonna be dealing with is what I talked about speeding up GNOME itself. Now what I mean by this isn't what I meant like last time when I said turn off animations to make GNOME run faster. This is going to increase the animation speed if you have a very powerful computer with a fast hard drive and lots of video RAM and all that stuff. But you think that GNOME is sluggish and you want to speed it up and make it operate faster, this is what you need. And it's called impatience. And if you search for it here, you can uh, click the install button as usual and it should automatically enable. And as you can see, things are a little bit snappier. Animations are a little bit quicker. And uh, you still get the animation. So you still get the little opening and closing uh, options or, uh, in animations. It's just a little bit faster. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a little bit of an overview on how to get your GNOME desktop environment running and looking a little bit more user-friendly and faster. Uh, this has been Derek, and I will see you in the next video.